Well, it's Saturday. It's been raining pretty hard here where I'm at. Uh, I thought it would be a good day to go through my uh, my gospel tracks. I have a lot of them. Making a video of it. Um, I did record some already, 15 minutes worth. Figured I'd redo it again now that I got all my gospel tracks um, separated. I got uh, a few of those. And uh, not too many, you know. There's these a couple of these and a couple of them ones. I used to have bunches of them. Uh-oh, here comes my cat. This ain't a good spot for you, boy. I got too many tracks laying around. And these are the same size. Got a bunch of these. You know, the ultimate gamble. Put those uh, in the Ziploc bag. And I got a bunch of, or, you know, just some miscellaneous ones. Uh, not too many of these. Trying to get my miscellaneous, the ones I have minimal of. Uh, those ones. It's a Catholic one written in English. Uh, got a few more of those. Uh, these ones here I had, I wish I had some in Spanish, but it was a Good Friday a couple years ago. I went to a Catholic church. I didn't know it was Good Friday. I just had a couple of big old stacks of them about like this. And uh, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go to a Catholic church and go hand these out. And um, There was literally hundreds of people coming in and out of that place. Um, it was a, a Good Friday now that I'm looking back at it. It was uh, the... Friday before Easter, so it's kind of crazy because when you turn around and you go like this and they see the Mary on there, they light up like a Christmas tree. Kind of, kind of sad. Or actually, kind of, it is sad. And uh, I got big old stack of these. I had a lot more eternity tracks that I got from the brethren in Sacramento that I preach with. Just had more rubber bands. To have a whole bunch of these ones, I only got a couple left. Fear God. I used to have a bunch of big old stacks of these too. That's what I got left of those ones. And these ones right here, that's what I got left of those. I had a good stack of these ones too. Three of these left. Right. Oh, those will fit in there too. Those ones. These. If I remember correctly, I think Harold, I mean, uh, um, Kerrigan Stoley makes all them. Uh, the Eternity Tracks, these are, come from the, the same brethren, they make these. These ones right here, Eternity. Uh, these ones right here, Freedom. If you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature instead use your freedom to serve one another in love 
but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. I like that. That's pretty straight to the point. Hey, oh yeah, don't use your free will to sin against God. It's not going to be pretty. And then, I got some of them. I like these. I used to have big old stacks of them like this, but I guess that's all I got left. I might have some in my car more somewhere. There we go. God loves the unborn. Amen. We can put them together. And right here, I got a whole bunch of different kinds of Spanish tracks right here. All them little Spanish tracks. Cool. What am I missing here? Uh, I got a few of these little guys in my car. I got some of these. Uh, these are handmade. Cowboy up. Got some beautiful Bible verses in them. Yes, all scriptures. Beautiful. And I got a whole stack of children's tracks. I used to have a bunch more, but I found some people that I was able to give them, give them to in stacks, you know. Encourage people to go out and preach or spread the gospel by any means necessary. Um, yeah, this is just what I'm doing today for right now. I don't know. I might go into town and, and preach in the rain. Um... I feel that that's the only thing that's uh, this important anymore. Um, working by the sweat of my brow uh, is something that has to be done, but uh, uh, it bothers me. I don't want to do it. Um, I'd rather just go out and proclaim the gospel. Um, hopefully, I'm in the next few months I'll be able to just go do that hopefully uh, God willing you know of course you see that my cat returned he was gone for three days uh, he I think he was lost over here in the berry bushes and stuff he was afraid to come out because he'd never been outside and I left the door open he jumped out and then the door closed back on him so and you know, I was in here snoozing away but anyways uh yeah, this is what I got to do today, right now. I'm going to put these away, try to keep them organized, give, get rid of them, handing them out. I got thousands of them here. Uh, God is worthy of our life. Um, so, give your life to Him. It will be the greatest decision that you ever make. It's really the only decision you have to make. You got two decisions. Um, that's it. You either draw nigh unto God and so that He'll draw nigh unto you and you put Him above all things. Uh, because if you put anything before Him, uh, regardless of what it is, it doesn't matter. Um, you can call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, you can fall back into your thing that you keep falling into uh, God give you free will to do that but unfortunately um, when you die if you're not willing to sacrifice uh, the things of this world uh, you will not inherit God's kingdom um, once saved always saved is a lie uh, the, the Bible does not teach that I can't say that I would be qualified to uh, try to explain that through the scripture, but uh, I don't need to try. I know the Bible doesn't teach that, and if we get in and diligently seek His Word and, and know that we need to obey Him, like the Bible says, uh, we got to you know submit to the whole gospel, not just to some of it. If you submit to the part of the gospel, you can definitely find your once saved, always saved gospel program. But uh, it's about living a holy and righteous life and turning from all temptations and not giving into your sins. So may the Lord richly bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.